YouTube. Good morning, Lakewood, and happy Friday. I'm Natalie. I'm Emily. And this is Cougar News in the morning. Would you all stand and join us for the Pledge of Allegiance? Would you all stand and follow with me in the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Yesterday, our career and technical education class had a guest speaker from Bellevue College. Let's go take a look at that. Job, and then the next day, and this is a true story, I don't like embellish it to make this part of my career change interesting. Um, but part of my job at the front desk is that he is neutered. And um, I was like, this is not my life goal. My goal is not to look at pets' private parts. Like, this is so not why I went to college. Um, my daily life revolves around um, continuous improvement, so I spend a lot of time working with different departments across campus to make sure that their policies and procedures that they have as far as like getting students registered for classes or helping students process student loans, that it's a really clear example of like, here's how you do it, here's how you get to the end. For like registering at Bellevue, it's as simple as going online, hitting I want to register, you fill out um, like a little bit of personal information, you don't have to have your funding figured out to start, which I don't know how I feel about that. I think that you should be prepared to know how much it's going to cost. Um, but it's a simple application, you're registered, you get approved, and then a couple days later you can register for class. Are you interested in business, marketing, or just improving your chances at college scholarships? Stop by the video production room to get more information about DECA, Distributive Club of America. Um, if you've taken CTE credit classes, you're eligible for that, so look into it. And don't forget about the field trip with Mr. O'Hara and Miss Irish. And did we mention you get free lunch as well? Yum. Yum. <laughs> There's also opportunities with Central, the UW, and the Air Force Academy. See Miss Irish for more information about that. And that Miss Irish is a busy, busy woman, so thank you for all you do for us here at Lakewood. Kaylin's not here today, so it's just going to be me and you with the, and the sports report. So in cross-country action on Wednesday at the Northwest Championships, Alex Jensen placed 14th to pace the Cougars, followed by Gabe Hatch in 28th, Mario Barletta in 36th, J Jaron Ransford in 53rd, and Ben Schmidt in 63rd. The Kooks placed seventh out of 14 teams, so good job, boys. And the girls were led by Callie Buchanan in 12th, Maddie Howe in 18th, Alexa Daly in 19th, Holly Riley in 40th, and J.D. Yargis in 46th. The Kooks were fifth out of 14 teams, so good job, ladies. And next Saturday at South Woodby, the Kooks will run for a shot at the state championships. So good luck to you all. In soccer, the Kooks lost 2-0 to zero to London Christian. Senior night and the final home game of the season will take place next Monday night as the Kooks take on Ferndale. Come and fill the stands and see if Mr. O'Hara sheds a tear for his daughter Cassidy. In volleyball, the Kooks lost three games to none to the links of London Christian but have two home games to bounce back next week as they complete their regular season. Tonight, oh, I already read that. And that's all for the sports. Now back to Emily and I. <laughs> um, tonight is pink out as the seniors are celebrated and the team takes on Burlington Edison. There's a tailgate tonight from 4.30 to 6.30. Be there, it'll be fun. And senior photo deadline is the 30th of October, so make sure you see Miss Rich Creek for more information. And let's make, make it a day, day. Lakewood, whether it's, it's good, good, bad, or great, is all up to you. you.